Welcome to another episode of the Wong Reviewer. In today's episode, I am going to show you how I installed six hard drives on my custom built desktop, which you can see back there. This includes three M.2 NVMe drives, two SSDs, and one three and a half inch hard drive. I'm going to benchmark each of these drives to see the read write difference and the performance it shows. As you're watching this video, if you found this video helpful, please like the video down below and consider subscribing to the channel for future content. So I'm going to show you how I have six hard drives installed on this custom desktop. So this is an ASUS Prime 570 Pro motherboard. It has two NVMe slots. So one right here is NVMe slot. It has a cooling plate on there. And then I have the other NVMe slots right here. It's a Corsair MP600 Gen 4 PCIe. And exactly the same that's actually under under here. So I have two one terabyte Corsair MP600 NVMe. And then I have this micro connectors adapter with the Intel 660p one terabyte NVMe drive as well. And if you wanna see the video on this adapter, I'll put, put it up here. I'll put a card up there for you to look at. A three M.2 NVMe drives installed on the motherboard. So again, one right here behind this cooling plate. One using this micro connectors PCIe adapter. And then I have my third one here, which is the Corsair MP600, and it's located here. Here's the back of my computer, or here's the other side of the computer using this Corsair tower. Right here, this case is nice. It has two SSD mounting brackets. Um, right now I have a SanDisk Ultra 3D SSD, 512 gigabytes located here. Uh, this one's empty. I would probably use it and fill it up at a different time. What's nice about this case is you can actually use these brackets to help kind of clean up the wire a bit. So I've been using this mounting bracket to kind of hold some wires in place so it's not too loose. And then underneath here, I have a Toshiba three and a half inch, one terabyte, three and a half inch desktop, one terabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive. And then above here, I have my Samsung 850 Evo 512 gigabytes SSD drive here. Just to recap, I have I have a total of five terabytes of hard drive on this desktop. I have two SSD 512 gigabytes each. I have one three and a half inch desktop hard drive, which is one terabyte. And on the motherboard, I have one here, one here, one here. So that's three one terabyte M.2 NVMe drives. Again, giving me five terabytes of hard drive space. And that should be plenty for now. What we do now is we're gonna benchmark all of these different hard drives, just so you can see what the performance is like. This is the Toshiba 7200 RPM desktop drive. It's the slowest drive I have, 129 um, megabytes per second for read write. I use this drive as a documents folder to store Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and to back up pictures uh, from my other drives. The Samsung 850 EVO drive has a read of about 530 megabytes per second and a write of about 486 megabytes per second. For photography, I use the Fuji X-T3 and I use this drive to back up all my RAW files, which are quite large. The Sandus Ultra has a read of 427 megabytes per second and a write of 471 megabytes per second, which is slower than the Samsung Evo drive. After I'm editing videos and posted them on YouTube, I transfer them to this drive for storage. The 
The Intel 660p is four times faster than the Samsung Evo drive and 13 times faster than the Toshiba desktop drive. It has a read of 1900 megabytes per second and a rate of 1780 megabytes per second. I use this as my primary drive for both RAW and JPEGs. The Corsair MP600 is 2.7 times faster than the Intel 660p in VME drive, 9 times faster than the Samsung SSD EVO drive, and 37 times faster than the Toshiba desktop drive. I use this drive for editing both RAW files in Capture One and editing 4K videos in DaVinci Resolve. M.2 NVMe drives is currently the fastest drives available on the consumer market. The Corsair MP600 NVMe drive, which I have installed, has an incredible speed of 4,800 megabytes per second for read and write. As a photographer shooting in, in RAW files and doing editing, and uh, as a YouTuber shooting in 4K video, having the fast hard drive helps speed up my internal workflow processes. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I would love to hear from you. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.